Hello, Milena, and, and welcome to the Art Salon. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you very much, Jenny. Everything looks brilliant behind you. <laughs> Thank you. This is a, a wonderful artist, I, I happen to know. <laughs> and you, I mean, that's your studio, I'm assuming, but it looks, as always, as I come to expect from you, Milena, it looks like perfection. And tell me, it is not like that when you're working. I can't believe it is. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, not all the pieces are, are on the walls in frames. They're usually empty frames hanging around. The wall is peppered with holes mm -hmm. and random screws. Um, the, the floor is covered in all sorts of things. So am I. <laughs> and everything around me. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Well, but then I tidy up once in a while. And obviously, I wanted to frame a nice shot. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to tilt the, the screen. <laughs> it's your usual perfectionism. Now, I, I know that you don't work on the wall, actually, that you work on no. the table. Is, is that the alchemist table right there? This is the table with the fresh layer of paper. Because normally it's, it gets to the stage when it's covered in uh, splodges of glue, uh, waxes, and basically it just becomes too dirty. And the fresh board would stick to it because the glue stays active. Forever, actually. Right, okay. <laughs> Apparently, I've been told, yes. And do you have so any... I just put another layer. Do you have any unmade work there or in progress work? Do you have a board there that you... Oh, yes, yes. Um, everything you look at here yeah. is waiting. It looks, um, it looks quite know. finished, no? <laughs> well, that's the secret of uh, the first few layers where they're photographed beautifully. Yeah. And I can always post them on Instagram. Yeah, not like these. And they obviously look good via the camera. However, yeah. they need another... I don't know how long it takes, because sometimes I'm pretty intense and I work long hours and I really work on one piece. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I'm lazy and I use the same materials to just swap pieces mm -hmm. and use the same materials on mm -hmm. different parts. Or... You don't see it, but there's an armchair here. I sit in the armchair and I stare. <laughs> that sounds and then I take a, yes. Always yes. important. Well, Do you have a board yes, that you can show me that's before that stage? Oh, this is, yes, I have prepared something. Oh, have you? Like this? It's, uh, just, just to explain the technicality of it. So yeah. it's a 10 HDF board. Yeah. It's protected on one side so that it doesn't bend, so it's perfectly safe. The whole day is tested. And uh, <clears throat> here are a few layers. Don't, can't show you more because the whole process involves waiting for the glue to cure. Mm -hmm. So if I do one layer and cover it, like here, mm -hmm. and then I abuse it with something. Oh <laughs> okay. Um, I have to wait. Oh yes, yes, it's so brutal. See, the beautiful clouds, that's how they happen usually. Oh my goodness! That's it, that's um, me. I know, I know, I know, I look. This is the magic. <laughs> so we're adding a bit of gold here. The glue was there, that's why I was able to do it. Uh, but now if fun. I wanted to show you something else, I don't think there's any glue left here. <laughs> Which means that if I put the glue, we would have to wait 15 minutes in order for me to show you another layer. Here, they usually get very rough treatments, sometimes even with very <laughs> harsh instruments. Or they are very gently polished. It all depends what I want to achieve from this layer. And do you, so you don't it. just you, you use leaf as well, don't you? Leaf and waxes? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. This was just a. Uh, oh! <laughs> of course, that's the. That's the that. <laughs> it's not real gold, everybody knows anyway. It's brass alloy, actually. Yeah. There we are. And so I you love it. apply that directly on to the, onto the board, with yes. onto the glue. And then I destroy it. <laughs> the thing is, okay, the uh, the basic 
thing is, this will only stick to where the glue is. So whatever design I draw with glue, which is then invisible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sometimes I have to actually examine it on the, at an angle to see. Yeah. So I'm crawling around the table to see what's there. Yeah. And it also depends what the glue is applied with. Mm -hmm. Right. It will all show differently, and also it all depends whether I put the aluminium, the, the, the leaf aluminium, the, the leaf flat, yeah. or do I break it in my hand, or do I scrunch it, or do I put it in a coffee blender? <laughs> 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 and obviously the layers of colouring and waxes in between, and sometimes in order to achieve certain hue, it takes layers and layers and layers of waxing and polishing and waxing mm. scratching waxing that's why i have piles of those you see it's not like i can use i have piles of everything so this oh, is this um this is why i know when we've done you know when you've done commissions or particularly like large commercial you know for commercial premises for commissions it usually takes about a month or two is that because of the amount of time the layering the building up and 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 well, try yes. to see it because the light changes throughout the day. I mean, filming this is a nightmare. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. It's completely different when you stand in front yes. of it. Yes. So you're you're creating it on the flat, and you're having yes. to move it, move around it the whole time, and what well, and prop it up. So yeah. large pieces require technology. Um, I don't know whether you remember the huge piece that I did yeah. commission of yeah. Yeah. before yeah. Christmas. Yeah. It was on the heavy board as well, so yeah. really, and because I was on my own as well, mm. there was there was a problem in the beginning, but I worked it out. How do I lever it in order not to break the board yeah. for me to see it? So at first, I was seeing it only in this, in, in this, this kind of light because yeah. that's where it ended up. Mm. So I had to then shift the whole table with it on. Mm. in order for the board, once taken off the table and propped up, to be seen in another light. So yes. And it, they change with the seasons as well, with the summer light to the winter light. I mean, it is always oh, changing. Yes. But I would love to just chat to you a few minutes about the collect. I mean, the collection that I've got here is actually um, two collections because you, I had commissioned you to create two collections, one for London and one for New York. Unfortunately, lockdown happened, so they got shipped yeah. to New York and back again. Um, but these have a feel to them. They have a, a, a very specific feel, and you can you know that they were created as a collection. I had to, I have to commission obviously to do that many pieces. You you have to have at least a year's notice really because of the amount of time and and how busy you are anyway uh, with with other work. Um, you know, just every normal work, gallery work, commissions and things. Tell me about these collections. What inspired you? What influenced you? What was the sort of driving intention for you? It was one day, beginning of the summer, unseasonably hot day. I drove to the seaside, the beach was empty, the heat was pounding, everything seemed weird, kind of like in lockdown. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it was a premonition day. It was a day year before, and what I really loved was the the softness of the surface of the water and the subtle wind mm -hmm. and lack of harshness in elements. This the sky was soft, the light was soft, and mainly the water would just and the feeling stayed with me. I just, I loved it, I loved it. I, I, I think I spent quite a long time just staring <laughs> at the waves. And what stayed with me was the stillness and the softness. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, when what, what I, what I got back into the studio, I knew that this is going to be, although similar, but different. Mm -hmm. Softer, smoother. I didn't know how difficult it was to do, but I worked really hard <laughs> 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 because, uh, I, it might not appear this way, however, producing those smooth vistas or smooth surfaces of water is much more difficult than doing something more dramatic mm -hmm. that's kind of, that, that uh, uh, grabs people immediately. 
Mm. Not that my pieces are overly dramatic or anything, however, well, the smooth ones are not easy to do, let's just say it. They are, they are quite dramatic in the sense that they do, they are sort of living, they change with the light throughout the, the day, but they are dramatic in their stillness. I mean, they're very heavily blended, a lot of these, so there, there's no mm. harsh lines particularly. This one here, which yes. I think is called balsamic, is one of the very few that's got the purples and blues of your waxes in yeah. it, but the rest of them are very gentle, they're very dreamy, and actually very pertinent to this year, where we, we sort of do want to <laughs> go off out mm -hmm. of our reality. Um, and I think that's, they are dramatic in that sense because of the, the movement. Now, you've discussed your process, um, this obviously can't be replicated, and I know when people want commissions, they can say, I'd like it to be more silvery or more golden, or I'd like more colour. Mm. But largely, it's, it sort of must tell its own story as you're producing it. Is that, is that right? Is that how it works? Yes, it is, because as much as I can plan work, as yet, it is, it is physically impossible for me to do anything in a manner which is precise enough for it to be planned from beginning to end or to repli replicate something. I can replicate the colorway or proportions or the feel of, of, of the piece, but however, every each and one of them is absolutely individual because there's no human way to remember the amount of layers and mixes that happen because uh, the waxes that I'm using they do have colours, however they are mixed and applied one on top of another, so sometimes the hue is achieved by seven, eight, ten pieces, layers of wax, and this gives this particular hue. There's no way to remember it or repeat it, obviously. No. Not that I'm planning to. Um, every piece is, uh, is singular. They might look, I mean, unless I do, obviously, unless I do diptychs. However, every single piece it's just this piece. Mm -hmm. Also, however, um, I'm, I'm able to control what I'm doing. However, the precision is impossible as well. Mm -hmm. There is no, I'm using harsh things like this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the side of my hand pressing in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't always know which layer will come through and what color will it show when I remove the top layers. So it's all, it's a, it's a game. <laughs> it's a game. And yeah, it's a game I play. And do you, do you yes. feel this collection delivered that memory that day on the beach? Do you feel that it, it you know, did oh, yes. it achieve what you wanted? Yeah. Oh Is yes, it? yes, most definitely. And I also, um, I do like uh, romancing the storm. I thought that I came up with such a beautiful title that I had to do a collection. And also some of the, uh, um, I sold one piece which would turn out, I mean, it was just one of piece, very kind of slightly gloomy and silver, and it was romancing the storm. Mm. And then it turned out to be very, very popular. People love drama and apparently silvery, you know, menacing clouds. Mm have, I understand, I see them as beautiful, mm. that's why I did, uh, I included these themes in my work, mm. and apparently lots of people do as well. <laughs> I think so. they do, I think, I, one thing we've touched upon is how difficult it is actually to show them in, on a screen or, you know, in, in a catalogue, I mean, they say the camera yes. lies, but unfortunately it does in your case, <laughs> it, it's, how do you manage when you're creating? Because, I mean, it, they don't take 10 minutes to create, so you're going through all sorts of different light cycles in your studio, presumably. I mean, mm. how on earth do you... Because you can't control the sunshine, so, I mean, you, no, you, I you cut the curtains, it's a completely different thing. So how does it work? Oh, yes. You have to clam oh, yes. over well, I move them around. I carry them around. So you, you move I them. I even you take don't... them outside. Right. Do you take them? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Oh, ladies. But now I understand. You see, um, sorry to butt in. Yeah. Um, I understand those pieces more now. I know how to get the best out of them. 
few times people asked how to light my pieces, and my point was that they don't need to be lit. They need to have a source of light to reflect, because this is what they do. They don't need to be blasted with, with light, because they kind of die under light, harsh light reaches them, or creates completely different peace. It, they with some of the dead removed. They do become more harsh under under certain lights, and that's the nature of the the metals that you, well, yes, that you use yeah. and the polishes that you that you use. So this collection is 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 obviously more of a dreamscape. Um, what, what now? Have you been inspired by lockdown to um, look anew again? What's going on for the future for Milena? I think a bit of frustration uh, was <laughs> happening as well. I think there's, I don't know if you can see it, there's a piece here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's got more movement in it, that's much Yes, yeah. yes. It was one of those kind of frustration moves. And they seem to work as well. However, it, it brings challenges as well, because I'm not saying this is easy, however, smooth vistas mm. are much easier playable with light. Mm -hmm. When there's the, um, the vertical um, pieces of gold included, mm -hmm. the light changes so much that some, it's very difficult. I'm working on it. I'm working on it and it's going to be really good. But it'll take some time <laughs> and lots of work. Are you restricted in your size? I mean, how, you, you can go to whatever size at all, I suppose. You could work in situ. I mean, I've got some much smaller pieces here up to... Yeah. I mean, that one's just over a metre, and I've got ones that are slightly larger than that. But, I mean, the, the ones that we have created for people before, or you've created for people before, go large. But presumably, you could fill an entire wall. Um, oh, yes. You'd have That's to my dream. You. That's my yeah. dream. <laughs> I need to That's get my dream. Wall. <laughs> yes. Also, I can go straight on the wall as well. Okay. I just need to have a surface that doesn't that it contains into which the glue doesn't sink. That's it. Yes. Yeah, not too. I much. did the walls, but this was you know not not as beautiful as those obviously. Every guild that does, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guild walls. They're fabulous. Well, <laughs> However, no, no, no. I just sorry. Yeah. sorry. Melina, it's been the, the problem talking to you is that we end up chatting for hours, don't we? Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> we, we, um, it's been a delight as always to, to talk to you. I'm delighted that this catalogue will be coming out very shortly, um, and I really look forward to being able to show your work again, um, around the world once we all get back to normal. <laughs> yes, um, yeah. but thank you very much for your time, and we'll speak soon. Pleasure as always. <laughs> Take care, Lena. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.